You know, if there's one thing I learned from this film, uh, which I already thought was a very important message, is being able to create boundaries between your social media, personality, or life, and your real life, because it could get extremely dangerous for you. Folks, let's jump into my review of the new film, Follow Her. Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Follow Her which made its West Coast premiere this year at Screen Fest 2022. So first of all, I just want to go over our cast really quick. Um, we do have our lead in Danny Barker who plays Jess Peters and we have Luke Cook who plays the greatest quarterback of all time in Tom Brady. No, no, seriously, he's just a character named Tom Brady. And um... The, the thing about Jess is Jess is sort of a dominatrix. She is a social media personality. Um, you know, she's Jess. Sometimes she goes by Barbie. She's a content creator. And amongst that, she is an aspiring actor turned writer. Um, she's been struggling, much like everybody in the beginning of the career, trying to find her, try, you know, finding that one hook so that they can just get to going. You know what I mean? Um, and, and, and with her sort of presence on social media she do has all types of interaction with folks creepy um some you know weird interactions that you know sometimes you gotta weigh her pros and cons all sorts of different little things like that um and from one gig that was extremely unconventional for her which i'll come back to in a second lands her into her being hired to write an ending of a screenplay when she meets this other screenwriter who then tells her that, hey, they are the two leads in this film, and they start to acting it out. And with the acting it out, things start to get very interesting. The reason why things start to get interesting because it starts to become a blur between is this real life or is this actually something that we're filming? And it gets a little bit dangerous for her. And she's uncertain, but the money's good. Obviously, the opportunity that she's been waiting for, you know, what can she do? And she's sort of in a predicament where she's just not able to automatically just leave, you know? Um, so extremely dangerous, you know? But um, first of all, I, going back to Danny as Jess, I think she does a fantastic job going through these different characters, uh, especially because of her job uh, being a social media personality um, and going out and using uh, uh, or and making money based on other people's kinks. Uh, so that's why you, you sort of get that dominatrix thing. I mean, you know, people got their kinks and they want to pay their money for the things they want. Uh, and, and that's what she do. And, and, and a lot of these things are because she secretly films them. And that is goes on this social media platform called Live Hive where, you know, the, her clients aren't shown and she goes on there and her fans are obsessed with her web series i mean to the point that she has stalkers and whatnot um because she goes in there she plays these different characters for these folks and and do what they want to do they pay the money and then she's out you know dominatrix and whatnot until there's one gig where accidentally the client face is revealed and that basically it it, it causes him everything and they're like, hey, we need you to take this down. This wasn't a deal. You you know, one, you were filming. And two, you revealed who I was. And now it had cost this client everything. This now puts her in danger because this person is powerful, connected, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. At the same, at the same time, this is doing monumental views for her. So the popularity and her stardom is through the roof, which is also lucrative for her. And it gives her opportunity to be more present. And that's where she has to kind of battle a lot of like pros and cons here selling herself for the views or maintaining her safety for her self dignity and it's a lot to kind of balance here so you got a lot of different kind of things going on here um along with this you know she's having nightmares and anxiety she's been overly paranoid um there's been a lot of coincidental events occurring for her um and then as i said this it's a huge blur between her real life and her job and, you know, for someone who sells fantasies to folks, you know, this is definitely a, a huge issue for operation here. Um, so, you know, the film does have a little erotic to it, a little eroticism to it uh, because of the fetish aspect. Um, but yeah, it, it, this, this film definitely 
explores the dangers of her job, especially being in front of the camera. Um, so, yeah, as I said, she has obsessed fans and, I mean, stalkers. I mean, there's, there's some comedy to this as well, too, strangely enough. Um, but it does get entirely creepy, especially in that last app, because when Danny and Luke start to work together, things start to just get, thing, things get to going in this film. And it works, and it works good. And it's it puts you at the edge of your seats because there's so much suspense, because at the end of the day, you want to see this character, Jess, you know, you want to see her get that bit of good luck in her life. You want to see her land that job. You know, she wasn't able to land the acting job. So she go to the screenwriting job and she ends up acting. And, you know, she's doing all the other stuff to try to support herself. And, and you just want to see her have a break here. And then when she gets into this opportunity that has, which seems to have a lot of red flags, you start to think like, okay, what's going to happen? And beyond that too, there's still a over there's still an over umbrelling like danger that's involved which you're still wondering that unpredictability because jess knows jess uh, tom knows jess because of her popularity so he is aware of what had happened so there's a lot of different kind of things got to go there's so much i can say that i don't want to spoil but there's a lot that goes on between the, the this character art for, for for the character jess but then ultimately when she interacts with tom and tom and his 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 offers and and how genuine they are and their interactions and so on so yeah but yeah this film is definitely creepy you got to keep your eyes peeled because there's a lot of little things you can miss out on things and people hiding and all sorts of different stuff like that um it gets dark it, it never gets too dark and it never gets too overly comedic it has a very solid balance in terms of the storytelling here and it definitely threads the line between really good suspicion like you absolutely are always kind of like hmm hmm so you know and, and because of that because again you're wondering is this character jess is this her reality or is this a movie that she's filming and and, and for someone who had exposed somebody else could they be trying to expose her you know and that's like a it's, it's a it's a it's a it's a ride it's definitely a ride um so you know at the end of the day, she got to make a tough decision. Will she become a, a director and cast in that star? Or will she stay the star if she can stay alive? Like, that's just it. And the ending. <laughs> wow. The ending. The ending. So all I can say. That's all I can say. I enjoyed this film, and I think you will, too. Totally check out Follow Her. Again, made its West Coast premiere at Screen Fest this year. Jump in the comments, folks. Uh, show love to the to the cast. I thought the cast up and down the board for folks who were even in the film for minimum time, I thought I really uh, made an appearance. But I thought I at least directly um, made this work. And I think the director and Sylvia Kaminer thought did a fantastic job and really uh you know bringing this film to life and, and and executing it telling an important message uh allowing this cast to shine in the spotlight that they did um and overall making me uh want more i want to see more of her work i i absolutely enjoyed this film so yeah when you get to that third act man it's going to be a ride and it just it just kicks it into overtime where it was just like oh yeah i thought we were done but guess we're not so yeah just be ready for it but yeah check out um follow her jump in the comments folks let me let me know your thoughts about the film and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon